Welcome to New Mexico. You there, won't you? Come in closer, cause I, I want you near. Lean in, won't you? Come on over, cause you're all welcome here. This week, I'm road tripping through New Mexico, and I'm kind of just bopping around. I didn't create a really solid itinerary for this trip, but I've known I wanted to do a New Mexico road trip for years, ever since I saw photos of White Sands, which I'm going to later this week. And actually how this trip came about is Toyota reached out to me and asked if I wanted to borrow a car for an adventure. So I have borrowed this 2022 Toyota 4Runner, and I thought what better way to test this thing out than to go drive it for a couple thousand miles so I've come to New Mexico. This morning I'm out hiking in the Bisti Badlands or the Bisti Wilderness. It's a very remote otherworldly region that's known for really unique rock formations. I've seen photos of this place for years and I've always meant to get here but it's not really near any other major attractions. So the tricky thing about hiking out in Bisti and why I'm glad I'm actually doing this at sunrise instead of sunset is there is no trail out here. It is just vast rocky sandy landscape so it's easy to get turned around disoriented you definitely want to have like a downloaded offline map so that you can track where you are which is what I'm doing but yeah there isn't really a defined trail and it's kind of just like you can go wherever you want to so these are called the cracked eggs they kind of look like a bunch of eggs that were cracked open I think I might be the only person out here this morning I've walked like a mile and a half maybe two miles I haven't seen a single person. It's okay though, I have a GPS satellite communicator on me. I have water, I've prepared, but it is very remote. Now I need to catch you guys up on what's been happening with the rest of my trip because I've been up to some things. Today is Wednesday. I left Austin on Saturday to head to New Mexico. Made it to Santa Fe where I spent a couple of nights. If you come to New Mexico, you have to make a stop in Santa Fe. It is so cute. They have all these little shops and restaurants and the buildings are so beautiful. And I'd planned to spend a whole day filming in Santa Fe, but I woke up and it was like snow slush raining. However, I did make a trip out to the Bandelier National Monument, which was the main thing I wanted to see around Santa Fe. And it was so cool. You get to see the cliff dwellings of the ancestral Pueblo people. And they even have some that are open to the public. They have these ladders where you can climb up into the dwellings to really experience what it's like to be in one. So now I'm headed down to Albuquerque to spend a couple of days. I've made it to Albuquerque, it's the next day, and I'm having the most wonderful time already. I am so thrilled with the Airbnb I'm staying at here. It's called the Desert Compass. They have, I think, six suites that are all decorated differently. I'm in the Cactus Suite. And this place is so beautiful and warm and welcoming. This little cactus dining nook is so incredible. I'm wondering how I can recreate this in my own own house. And I have had the most lovely day today. I got up, I walked a block that way to this cute little courtyard plaza with a coffee shop. I got some coffee and a pastry for breakfast, came back, got a little work done. As for my first impression of Albuquerque, because this is my first time here and I, I didn't really have any expectations coming here, I think it is so nice. I'm seeing a lot of good restaurants. Yesterday I went to this place called Sawmill Market, which is like a big warehouse building, but like very new and very aesthetically done and it has a bunch of food vendors in it. Everything looked so good. I had lunch there and it was amazing. If you come to Albuquerque, definitely go. This afternoon and evening, I'm heading over to the tramway here and I'm going to watch the sunset from the top of the mountain.
I've made it to White Sands National Park, which is such a dream. I have wanted to come take pictures here for so long. I got here last night. This is my second day in the park. I've just been taking pictures and video and soaking it in. And last night at sunset, I sat up on one of these dunes and the whole world turned misty pastel periwinkle. It was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. So I'm back again tonight. We're a little ways off from sunset. So let's talk a little bit about this car. This is the 2022 Toyota 4Runner TRD Sport. The color is Lunar Rock. I've put about 2,000 miles on it already, so I've gotten comfortable. It has a lot of cool features like automatic running boards. Whenever I open the door, the running boards come out, and when I close it, they go back in. It also has so many charging outlets, and in the cargo area, there's even a 120 volt outlet that has been super handy for charging batteries on the go. But I think my favorite thing about this Forerunner is how smooth the ride is. At one point, my navigation took me on a route that had 30 miles of unpaved roads, and I didn't even really notice until about 10 miles in. I was like, wait, why is this so smooth? So huge thank you to Toyota again for letting me just have it for a week. This has been so fun. So this is it for my New Mexico road trip. I'm so happy I came and did this. I've had the best week. If New Mexico isn't already on your travel list, it definitely should be. As for my favorite things from this trip and what I would recommend seeing if you come here, because the most common message I receive whenever I post about a trip is I want to go, but I only have X number of days between this and this, what would you choose? If I had to remove some things from this trip to shorten it, the first thing I would cross off the list is probably Bisty Badlands, just because it was so far out of the way from everything else. And if you're going to pick just one like very vast scenic landscape to see in New Mexico, I would choose White Sands. Tips for visiting White Sands National Park, because if you come to New Mexico, I highly, highly recommend making a stop here. It is so beautiful, but there are some things you need to know. Unlike most national parks, White Sands is not open 24 hours a day. They close a gate at night and they open it again in the morning. I think it's because of its proximity to the White Sands Missile Range. There's a lot of military stuff going on in this region. Also, once in a while, they will close White Sands because of military stuff going on. And I don't think there's any pattern to those dates, so definitely check ahead and make sure it's not closed on the dates you want to visit. As for the park itself, as you've seen, it's very vast, very remote. There is no water. There is no shade. So plan accordingly. And to be honest, I think this is the kind of spot that a few hours is enough. Come in the afternoon, stay until sunset, climb up on a dune, take in the view. I saw people bringing like camping chairs and just hanging out on top of the dunes. You're totally exposed when you're out here, so I feel like an entire day is kind of miserable if you're here in the middle of the day and the sun's just beating down on you. There aren't really any attractions in the park, unlike other national parks where there's like certain sites and things to go see. It's really just a whole bunch of sand dunes. That's what it is. But the nice thing about that is you don't get clusters of crowds anywhere because there aren't specific points to go see. Everyone just really disperses across the sand dunes and if you walk a little ways, you will have a patch all to yourself. So that's really nice. Thanks for coming along with me on another adventure. If you want to see more photos from this trip, I'm sure I will have a bunch up on my Instagram. So I will link that down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.